All right, today I'm going to show you a little video on how to use the Linux to put in body line profiles and like a belt line. So I'm going to use this 3031 Model A belt line profile as an example. Um, so what this is, this is a Linux. It's very similar to a Pullmax machine. Uh, the function is pretty much the same. It's a fixed stroke reciprocating machine. So as it turns over, the upper RAM moves the same distance. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, I'll move the camera and you can zoom, we'll zoom in on the, the tooling here and I'll kind of show you how it works and then I'll do a time lapse of the overall profile to achieve a long strip of belt line molding. All right, here's a close up of the tooling. Um, I've made this tooling. It's, uh, this one's made out of a half inch plate steel. Um, I kind of carved out the profile that I needed with the Bridgeport milling machine and I hand filed fit everything um, to get it to the profile I needed. Um, I'll do another video on like how to get an accurate, uh, an accurate set of tooling. Uh, we'll use body filler and thin it out and actually cast a mold for doing that. So here, um, I'll just kind of spin the machine over by hand. And you can see the upper tooling moves. So as, the, as we make multiple passes, so we'll start with the tooling low like this. And you know, the machine will be turning over. And we'll make a full pass. And then we'll adjust it up a little bit at a time. So we'll make four or five passes throughout to achieve the total depth of the tool and the total depth of the profile desired. Um, here I have the back gauge set up just as a guide. Um, this is adjustable in and out. I've got it shimmed up so you can shim it height wise. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, the panel gets lubricated so you'll see that in the time lapse video as well. Um, and I'm going to run about eight pieces through uh, to do a small production run on making these profile pieces. So if you have any questions about uh, applications of Linux machines or Pullmax type machines, um, feel free to you know, drop those down in the comments um, and I'll do my best to make new videos to explain any questions you have. I like using this process way more than a bead roller um, because it presses down instead of a rolling motion like a bead roller does. Um, I've just found that it the panel doesn't get any kind of twist to it using a Linux versus a, a bead roller. Uh, a lot of more complicated, um, more complicated profiles on a bead roller as it kind of rolls through, it can get like a twist from the rolling motion of the wheels. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or just what I found, but again, all these videos are just my experience in the field, not necessarily 100% fact. So I'll do a time lapse and we'll kind of go from there on it. Thanks for watching.